So for those hoping that the Sony a7R5 is going to be groundbreaking, well, you may have got your wish. So according to Andrea Penazinzi, I'm, I'm going to completely mess up that name. Essentially, he is the head of Sony Alpha Rumors. He has been doing that for, I believe it's 13 years now. So it's pretty awesome. He actually has his own YouTube channel as well now. He was being interviewed by Simon, the Ordinary Filmmaker, who is a friend of the show. And I will link that original video down below. I think you want to skip towards the end area because there were some technical difficulties. But anyways... Getting on to the news. So I know a lot of people were a little bit disappointed when supposedly there was some leaks from the Sony a7R 5 coming out and they were saying that it was gonna have the same 61 megapixel sensor from the a7R 4. To me, that still kind of makes a little bit of sense, especially if they add more processing power to the a7R 4 sensor and just get more out of it. The a7R 2 and the a7R Mark III they all had the same sensor and usually they have it for at least uh, one generation. They'll have the same sensor over, but he is saying that Sony is going to be uh, pushing the envelope here. I think it makes sense for Sony to step up the game because I know Canon is working on 100, 100 megapixels cameras too. So um, if the rumor is correct, for just... sure we are getting close to 100 megapixels. Especially with a Canon, the competition coming out with possibly a sensor north of 75 megapixels. He believes that Sony is going to have a 100-ish megapixel sensor in the camera, and he's not 100% sure. Reliable info about the sensor, uh, but I'm double checking this because of course I don't, I want to avoid to make big mistakes. Um, if the rumor is correct, for sure the resolution is increased by quite a bit. I personally am very excited that it is gonna have a hundred plus megapixels in it because I think that competition is good for the entire camera industry. And if Canon is pushing something uh, further in one direction, I hope that Sony matches it or exceeds it and vice versa and back and forth. I do worry that with a hundred megapixels, maybe you'll be getting some loss in quality when it comes to low light. But there was a recent announcement that Sony had a new stacked sensor technology which will essentially allow them to get double the light saturation out of the same sensor or at least you know that's what they're claiming so is it possible we'll get like a hundred megapixel sensor that will have the same low light performance as the a1 i mean that would be very enticing if that's the case let's hope that they put that new uh, sensor technology in there but I am getting very excited about this camera. I'm not sure it's gonna be for me. It's gonna be probably for more high-end landscape photographers or portrait photographers. I know a lot of people aren't really sure why you would need 100 megapixels. And I'm not gonna say you absolutely need it, but it definitely does help to have high megapixels. In the past, if you were to say, nobody's gonna need 50, I mean, you would probably be correct back then, but now 50 is becoming like a, a high-end standard. So having 100 makes sense to me, especially if you can deal with that low light. You can essentially have an image of a single model and you could crop in different ways to say, hey, I just want it to be of, say, her face or I want it to be of her hand holding this jewelry here or a purse or whatever. You could have one shot of a model to give you all those different breakdowns and it can make one picture very valuable to say a magazine or a publisher. So I definitely do think there is room for a 100 megapixel sensor out there. But drop in the comment section below and let me know, do you completely disagree with me? Do you think that 100 megapixels is way too much? Do you even believe this rumor? Drop in the comment section below and let me know all that. If you've liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And until next time, peace.